Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gaynor. I'm Sophie. And today we're doing the funniest Seinfeld moments, part one. Yes. Now, this is a new introduction for you, isn't it? Yeah. You've never I've watched Seinfeld. I've heard of it. Like, I think I've seen your bits of this throughout the years, yeah. but never ever watched so it. So when we first moved to the States, Seinfeld was huge. Mm. Um, and I got into it. it. It did take a while because it, it's a different comedy to what I was used to. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. once you what, once you know the characters, yeah. it's absolutely hilarious. And I used to come home from work every night and watch it. Binge it. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> so this is a uh, gonna be a good Funny one for moments. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll love it. And so yeah, let's see if um I like it. <laughs> Can I help you? Name, please. Uh, Seinfeld. Uh, you made a reservation for a midsize, and she's a small. <laughs> I'm kidding around, of course. Yes. Um, okay, let's see here. 66 years old? Yeah, well, he's in perfect health. He works out. He's vibrant. You'd really like him. Why do people always say that? I hate everybody. Why would I like him? So what do you think? Could you go out with a 66-year-old woman? Well, I'll tell you. She would have to be really vibrant. <laughs> so vibrant, she'd be spinning. I'm sorry, we have no midsize available at the moment. I don't understand. I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. But the reservation keeps the car here. That's why you have the reservations. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. <laughs> if you did, I'd have a car. <laughs> See, you know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to hold the reservation. And that's really the most important part of the reservation, the holding. Anybody can just take them. Let me uh, speak with my supervisor. Uh, here we go. Press pause. The supervisor. Have you ever, ever been in that situation where you've booked something and then you turned up and it's not there? No, don't no. think. Oh God, it's, happened, it, it's no. happened to me so many times. It really does my head. In. I could feel myself getting angry then when she was like, "Yes, we don't have any cars." I'm like, "But like, you made a reservation." I don't understand that. If if like obviously, I know this is like you know not real life. But if you've made a, a reservation, surely that reserves whatever. It, you know what I mean, yeah. it it keeps what holds whatever you've got. Yeah, exactly. For, so I, I don't turned, know. I turned up at a hotel once, and they said, um, "I'm sorry, but your room's not ready." And I said, "How long will it be?" And they said. Um, probably about another hour. And yeah. I'm like, what's the point of saying, checking is after two, if, if I can't get into my room until three o'clock? Well, is that, then it's not checking yeah. after two, is it? It's checking yeah. after three? Yeah, so I was like, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? And they were like, well, so I said, can you not just put me in another room? So in the end, because I keep yeah, up such like a fuss, free. they upgraded me to a, another room. <laughs> <laughs> just, At least you got an upgrade as well. Yeah. <laughs> Has it ever happened with like a car or anything? No, I don't think. The only thing that happens when when um, we flew to Newark, we booked a car. Yeah. And you pick which car you want on the um, website, and we we need we had lo loads of cases, so we needed a one big... with, with a big um, trunk in the back. Yeah. And when we got there, it was like a car, and I was like, "Well, no, I need a big my, my, my case is not going to fit in there." Yeah. So they moved some things around and eventually got it, but. But when you book something, you expect yeah. to get what you've booked. When, booked? Yeah. Well, no, it's like going to a restaurant as well. <laughs> Here we go. The supervisor. You know what she's saying over there? What? Hey, Marge, see those two people over there? They think I'm talking to you. <laughs> so you pretend like you're talking to me. Okay, now you start talking. Oh, you mean like this, so it looks like I'm saying something, but I'm not really saying anything at all? Okay, now you say something else, and they won't yell at me, because they thought I was checking with you. Oh, great, that's it. I think that's enough. See you later. <laughs> I'm sorry, my supervisor says there's nothing we can do. Yeah, it looked like you were in a real conversation over there. But we do have a compact, if you would like that. Fine. All right. Well, we have a blue Ford Escort for you, Mr. Seinfeld. Would you like insurance? Yeah, you better give me the insurance, because I am going to beat the hell out of this. <laughs> I'm on no sleep. No sleep. You don't know what it's like in there. All night long, things are creaking and cracking, and that red light is burning my brain. You look a little stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. So, Kramer, what am I supposed to do? 
supposed to do, but I don't have that for half by four o'clock. They're gonna take me down like Nixon. You know my friend Bob Sacramento? But he was Kramer's friend. Well, he called last night about 3 a.m. and we got to talking. He sells Russian hats down at Battery Park. Forty bucks. Forty bucks? Are they sabled? No, but the difference is negligible. Oh, yeah, I like this idea. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. So because you've not seen it before, you won't have understood that bit. So No. So when he came in then, like all like panicked, yeah. he was doing what Kramer's like. So Cra there's, there's Elaine, that's her, Elaine, and there's yeah. Jerry, and then Kramer lives across the hall, and he's proper like... So do they live in a flat? Yeah, they're all in an apartment block. Okay. I don't actually think that Elaine's in that apartment block. I think she might live in a different apartment block. And, and is then... she the girlfriend? No, they're all just friends. Oh, okay. And then there's another guy, he's called George Costanza. And yeah. he's like a little guy. Um, so they're the main characters. Get ya. And then they have other characters like the soup Nazi, which is the guy that serves soup. So they're all different characters that you would get to know. Yeah, but that's, I think it's the context of like knowing yeah. who they're talking about and like what's going on like yeah. in the, the yeah. episode. Yeah. 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 Like, like was it was on about like a red light. Yeah, so... <laughs> what does that mean? So in his, in his apartment, there must be... I think, I can't remember because it was years ago, but there's yeah. a, a red light shining through the window all night and he can't get any sleep. Get you. So he's, like, wired with... <laughs> <laughs> On adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> all right, listen up. Now, you three have been hand-picked out of possibly dozens who applied. Now, what we're looking for are motivated, hard-working, homeless uh, gentlemen like yourselves to pull rickshaws. Now, I don't care where you're from or how you got here or what happened to your homes, but you will have to be physically fit. The government! <laughs> because the full rickshaws requires more than just strong legs. You're also going to need a well-toned upper body. <laughs> or a shirt. Hi, right, who's first? Name, hey. hey, please. Rusty. Rusty. No, I once knew a horse named Rusty. No offense. All right, now take it down the end of the block. Make a control turn and bring her back. Let's see what you got. Okay, ready? And go. Get here. Good form. All right, pace yourself because you're going to have to do this all day for very little money. Hey, what's he doing? I think he's stealing our rickshaw. When he's out. I'll take the job. Potato salad. <laughs> Sorry to keep pausing it, but that that actor, you know, done with like the stopwatch. Yeah, I swear he was the guy off them um, Jurassic Park. Really? I... I, is he in Jurassic Park? You know that bit where does his car get stuck or something, and then he opens like the car door, and there's this like thing, like one of the dinosaurs, and it like goes for him. It's like a bit of a jump. Okay. I've I've seen Jurassic Park, but no, I've only years. seen it like once, and I'm like, so I can't remember any of the. Uh... And of the actors. Yeah, just Jeff Goo <laughs> just Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Let us know below if it, um, it's the right guy. <laughs> and I'm sitting there with Woody, and uh, I say, I turn to him and I go, uh, boy, these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Is that how you're going to say it? No, no, I'm working on it. Do it like this. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> these pretzels are making me thirsty. No, no, see, that's no good. See, you don't know how to act. <laughs> These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> oh, that was no good? I didn't say anything. All right, I'm going to go uh, break up with Owen. What was wrong with that? I had a different interpretation. <laughs> Do you know anything about this pretzel guy? Maybe he's been in the bar a really long time and he's really depressed because he has no job and no woman and he's parking cars for a living. All right, all right, shut up, shut up. I hear you, I'm coming down. These pretzels are making me tasty. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get right to the point. Uh... It's come to my attention that you and the cleaning woman have engaged in sexual intercourse on the desk in your office. Is that correct? 
Who said that? She did. Was that wrong? Should I not have done that? I tell you, I gotta plead ignorance on this thing because if anyone had said anything to me at all when I first started here that that sort of thing was frowned upon. <laughs> You know, because I, I worked in a lot of offices, and I tell you, people do that all the time. So. You're fired. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. I, I want you out of here by the end of the day. What about the whole Christmas spirit thing? Any flexibility there? Nah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She wanted me to give you this. Well, if I hear you correctly, and I think that I do, my advice to you is to finish your meal, pay your check, leave here, and never mention this to anyone again. Can't be done, huh? The switch? The switch. Can't be done. I wonder. Do you realize in the entire history of Western civilization, no one has successfully accomplished the roommate switch? In the Middle Ages, you could get locked up for even suggesting it. We didn't have roommates in the Middle Ages. How do you know? Well, for one thing, they didn't have apartments. Well, I'm sure at some point between the years 800 and 1200, somewhere there were two women living together. The point is, I intend to undertake this, and I'll do it with or without you. So if you're scared, if you haven't got the stomach for this, let's get it out right now. And I'll go on my own. If not, you can get on board and we can get to work. Now, what's it gonna be? All right, damn it, I'm in. <laughs> I couldn't do it without you. All right. Let's get to work. Today. <laughs> was that all 25 of them? I think it just started on, I think, was it counting downwards? So it starts yeah. on 25. Five. And it ended on 20? 20. So I feel like there's other parts, parts as well. Yes, so that's like, just part one. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think? I guess it's difficult when you've not watched the show before. Yeah. And you're seeing little clips. Because obviously know. I know what's, what's happened prior to that. Yeah. Like you're, probably you're just watching all. it. Yeah, you're just watching it as a clip and yeah. not knowing what's before and after type thing. Yeah. Honestly, being like fully like honest, I honestly think it actually looks quite good, yeah, you know. It is. Is well, it a bit like Friends? It is. It's, it, very, it's very much like Friends. They're all good friends together and they all have like, like different, different jobs and different situations. It's about like their lives yeah. and like, you yeah. know, kind of growing up and yeah. getting partners. And, yeah. yeah. And, and, it, and it, it was on for years and years. So it's a, a lot to catch up on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how many seasons? Oh, well, I was there for 14 years and it was on the whole time I was there. Was it? Yeah. So oh my gosh. We might have to um, do a reaction to like I don't know like the first episode or something yeah, like yeah. an episode. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it honestly looks good because yeah. again, like Friends, I've never, never ever watched Friends. You're joking. Never. Honestly, I don't know why. Especially me, everyone's like, so if you'd love Friends, yeah. Obviously, like, about Jenny Sex Friends in the City. City. See, it kind of gave me that vibe a little bit with like I don't yeah. know like the music and yeah. yeah. I love Sex in yeah, the City. Yeah, no, I do as well. So I feel like if I love that, I'd probably like get into that these and friends yeah, yeah. no there's a, there's a lot of american shows that are really really good like yeah yeah just, just having the time to watch them all yeah exactly <laughs> it's always something new coming out yeah. <laughs> right everybody thank you so much for watching along if you haven't liked and subscribed already please do and we will see you next time bye bye